Okay, so my sweet potato ground cover has gotten quite established. As you can see, there's still some leaves popping up um, among the sweet potato vines and stuff. But um, also, over here, this is just one, started off as one vine. So, like, this vine that I planted about right here spread all over here. That's it over there. And it's going that way. And there's a vine that's over here that's been spreading. It's back here. You can see that. Then it's going in that direction too. And we have, you know, it just crawls basically over everything. So I feel like as it keeps, you know, filling in, it helps keep the grass down, which is a blessing. So we'll see. Hopefully, I have some survive the winter. Okay, sweet potato actually is a tender perennial. Um, so I've been trying to mulch it as heavily as possible to see if that'll help. But I mean, it's just so hard to say. It is filled in so beautifully. Let's take a step over. Oh, you see that comfrey popping up looking big. And that's the yellow is what, like alfalfa or something? Or I think so. Then there's some asparagus, which is growing taller than my little maple tree, which should be fine. Because, I mean, the asparagus is not going to be growing in the uh, off season anyway. And then I should give the maple some time to collect itself. Got vines, vines, vines. Let me go over here. It's literally like so wild out here. But I did do a little wee bit of cutback. So here we have some more comfrey. Which is, you know, also kind of a... It's not that much of a ground cover, but it definitely shades out the grass. So here's some more sweet potato, right? this is one plant it started like in this area and has really spread out and sweet potato will climb if given a chance but i i mean i don't want to say i just prefer it to be on the ground i like it on the ground and it looks really cool as it climbs too so nothing wrong with that look at it this is just one vine so i'm feeling like if I can succeed at grow, it's growing it as a as a perennial right that this will be so thick you know next year that you won't even be able to see um you don't really want to be any weeds right so there's um a tree died in my parents yard it's back there and we just pull it out of the ground and it's back there and I toss it on the ground because, you know, it'll break down eventually. I didn't cut it up or anything. It's just like a tree. <laughs> a crepe myrtle, I believe. So, that's a pomegranate tree. So, these are about two different sweet potato vines. As you can see, they're crawling, like, everywhere. It's really keeping the grass back now that it's, now that it's finally really filled in. Because it does take a minute to get warm. Well, it did take a minute this season to get warm anyway. So, um, took them some time to get really started. But now that they have just sweet potato bonds everywhere. Yeah, we got a little banana tree plant, whatever, back there. And it's starting to finally get taller than the sweet potato vines. I honestly thought I had lost that banana plant, so... And that popped up, I was like, yes, you didn't die. And that's a trailing raspberry. We need to, I don't know, I'm going to try to probably move that or something. But it's there for now. And we have a fig tree right here. They got so many weeds I need to pull, run over, step on something. But as you can see, sweet potato makes an excellent ground cover. This is this maybe started as like twenty dollars worth of sweet potato slips, and it's probably covering about half of my food forest right now. So hopefully, like I said, if I succeed in growing them as perennial, this will be even more next season.